What is up, my beautiful Rose Beauty Maniac here? NBA game picks and spreads for March 15th, 2019. Now, before we get into the actual games themselves, the most meaningful game of the night is the Bucks and the Heat. Why? Bucks are only two and a half games ahead of the Raptors, the only two teams in the East. To, they actually the only two teams in the whole league to actually clinch a playoff spot already. And the reason why this is huge for them is a two and a half game lead with about 14 games left is massive. A win here putting them up three games would be incredible. They are seven and a half games ahead of the third seed, so I don't really see any competition there. So they're going to finish with one of the top two. But then you have the Heat, who are also eighth, who are two games back of Detroit, but only one and a half games ahead of Orlando for the ninth seed. So a loss here would put them only one game ahead. And that just makes it so fun. An update on the standings from the last time we mentioned one in a video. The Cleveland Cavaliers and the Chicago Bulls have also been eliminated to join the Suns and the Knicks. We have currently only 26. 26 teams still alive. With two of those being guaranteed a playoff spot, we have 24 teams battling it still out. With realistically, I mean, if you're going to admit it here, Dallas, Memphis, they're going to be going the way of that pretty damn soon. And no one in the East for at least a couple games. We start with the Lakers at the Pistons. Pistons fair by 12 and a half. I believe LeBron's not playing in this one. And this spells trouble for the Lakers. But a good thing about this game is the fact that the Pistons do need this win. If they want to improve their seeding chances. Because I did mention the playoffs. They're currently the 7th seed. Only half a game behind Brooklyn 4-6. And the reason why that is huge. Especially in the East. Is the difference between 6th and 7th. Is the difference between fighting Indiana. With no Oladipo. Or fighting Toronto. So, having the 6th seed is probably the most advantageous seed you could have for being on the road. I'm picking the Pistons to win this one. 12.5 points spread does seem quite large, but with no LeBron tonight, I don't think there'll be too much of an issue. I love Blake Griffin. I love Andre Drummond in this matchup. And particularly, the Lakers might play a little better chemistry-wise with LeBron in the lineup, but they really don't have that punch. Then you have the Kings at the 76ers. The Kings have... Hit the unluckiest streak I've ever seen in my life. In a span of like five or six games, you got the Celtics twice in the 76ers while you're about four games back of the Clippers because now I believe the Kings are currently five games back of the Clippers. Facing the 76ers, this is nearly a must win for them with only about 14 games left for them in the season after this. This is almost as much much win must win as you can get currently 76 is fared by 10 and a half with Joel Embiid playing I don't see any way the Kings could win this but being supportive of the Kings all season I will say this if the Kings are going to win they're gonna need Bogdanovich they're gonna need healed and they're gonna need Collie Stein to really really step up not just bring their a game they're gonna have to bring their a plus game and they're gonna have to hope that the 76ers struggle from three because I believe when the 76ers struggle from three their chances of winning drop dramatically ten and a half point spread does seem large and I am going to pick the 76ers to win and cover like the, the Kings realistically I would give them maybe a 15% chance to win this one. And that's like I said, they have to bring their A-plus game and have something go wrong for the Sixers. Then you have the Hornets at the Wizards. Wizards by 2.5 currently in this one. This one is interesting just for the fact that the Heat being the 8th seed in the East means that a 30-37 and 37 Hornets team is technically only two games back of the Eastern Conference playoff last spot. And with the Heat facing the Bucks, a win for this one would realistically put the Hornets only one game back. Washington's currently favored by two and a half. I am going to pick the Hornets to win and cover the win against the spread. And you get the Bucks at the Heat, NBA TV, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Milwaukee's favored by five. I think they win and cover as well. I don't really see anybody on the Heat that can stop Giannis. But I do believe Kelly Olynyk, if him, Justice, Justice, Josh can be consistent tonight they have a small chance but big men wise I don't I don't really see any competition so same as the next game Suns Rockets Rockets by 12 and a half I think they win and cover as well it should be an interesting matchup just for the fact is could this be a trap game could the Rockets not take the Suns seriously and get smacked up like the Bucks did not too long ago who knows 
I think Harden's definitely too much for the Suns to really contain. And for Reed and Capella, for big men, it's just too dangerous. Then you got the Trailblazers at the Pelicans. Trailblazers by 9. I think they win and cover as well. If Drew Holiday was playing in this one, I could probably confidently pick the New Orleans Pelicans. But until then, I'm still picking the Trailblazers. They are currently really well seeded into the playoffs. I believe they are currently 4th. Yeah, they're currently 4th. Half a game a half a game behind the Houston Rockets and tied with the Oklahoma City Thunder. So a win here is going to be important for them. So they're still going to go all out. Damian Lillard, Damian Lillard I I believe he's going to drop 30-5. and five, And that's five assists. Then you got the Knicks at the Spurs. Spurs by 13.5. I think they win and cover. Knicks, their number one job right now is get the number one seed. Probably get Zion Williamson, but who knows. Then you got the Bulls at the Clippers. 10.30 p.m. Eastern. NBA TV. 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. Clippers favored by nine. I would pick the Bulls in this one, but the Bulls just plain suck. No offense to the Bulls. They do bring it in certain games, but they don't bring it consistently. And I, I'm not going to pick a team who can't play consistently. Actually, that's not the issue here. The issue with the Bulls is I just think, like I've said, every time I've the, picked the Clippers before, they just mesh a lot better. They're like the engine that's not necessarily from a Dodge, Dodge Challenger, but, you know, it's from... Uh, Toyota Camry, but it still runs pretty good after 10 years. Who knows? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.